change always takes time. You're, you're talking about a government that's been there for more than 50 over years. Did you think they were not going to fight back? Of course they'll fight back. But now's not the time for us to give up. Now is precisely the time we must continue fighting because it will, everyone thought, look, Hitler could not be defeated, okay? He, everyone thought that. And then it can happen so quickly, right? Uh, and I think the hope for me lies in all of you, in the people, because you make more sense and you talk more sense than many of our leaders do. And ultimately, that rubbish will have to, <laughs> you know what I mean? The rubbish they're spewing out will be their downfall. So for me, actually, uh, now is not the time to give up. And you must always know that there is hope, especially when you have enough people like you who have gone out on the streets, who are prepared to do whatever it takes to make sure we have a better Malaysia. So uh, I would keep my hope up. There are no simple answers. There never is. But you've got to keep knocking at the door. We must uh, get away from the notion that if you remove Najib, our problems are solved. They are not. No, 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 no. Because, yeah, because it's systemic. And we need to, we need to insist on uh, institutional reforms. It doesn't change anything. Uh, it's just removing Najib. Now, the other thing is that um, we, you can see very clearly that, for me, actually, our main problem in this country is corruption in all its forms. Uh, frankly, if we can if we can deal with corruption and we can make strengthen MACC and uh, in, in ourselves also make sure we're vigilant about corruption, then I think maybe 80-90% of our problems will go. But you know, it's huge. The corruption problem is huge. In Hong Kong, it took them three years to get, to get over it, and it was tough. And they had the political will. We don't have the political will. Our leaders do not have the political, and that's the problem. So we're not going to see a change in that. But for me, that's like a cancer that's eating away at, at every institution, everything that we hold valuable in, in our country. And, and I think that is something we should concentrate on. My own view is you all should actually actively write to your MPs uh, and, and bug them to do something. I, I think, uh, hopefully, uh, they will consider a motion of no confidence. Whether it succeeds or not is another thing. but. People need to know that they are accountable. That despite the fact the motion may not succeed, they still need to know they are accountable to Parliament. <coughs> Parliament needs to wake up, actually. I mean, and, and I'm not blaming anybody. It's because the system is so bad. I, I would like to see if the Speaker actually allows the motion of no confidence, if one is put. Um, and, and that in itself is a worry. Will the Speaker be, uh, you know, fair and put forward that motion? We, we don't know. But there are other ways of expressing it. So, for me, actually, all the institutions, and I know it's tough, uh, Parliament is one of them uh, that, that is really very, very weak because uh, that's, that's what it's become. But I think we, we have to have our eye on the wall. We need to push for institutional reforms. The power has to eventually come back to the people. Right now, it's not with us because, because of the way the voting goes, because of the way uh, the, the, the politics is played in this country. But I think there are enough Malaysians, good Malaysians actually, uh, who can keep, and you, you, uh, you ask what you can do. Well, for me, part of what you can do is educate. You may have neighbours, you may have even people around you who do not think the way you do, but maybe venture out a little bit further. You know, I know groups of people who actually do it. They go into some of the rural areas, they go into the flats where people live and you know, and, and talk to them. So that's something you can do. You've got two or three years, that's something you can do. That's what I'd suggest you do. If you don't want to do anything overtly or openly or whatever. But at the end of the day, I would say, do not give up hope. Now is not the time to give up hope. Now is really not the time to give up hope because I think change is coming. It may not happen in the next general elections. I hope it does, but you never know. Thank you.